And let's look at, you can see I've got a Jenkins environment running and I also have a Kubernetes cluster. So let me go into the Kubernetes cluster and you can see the different elements here. And I can go in and define something. So let me go in and go to settings um, and I can go into the scaling. And I can actually choose how I want to, um, how I want, let's just remove these first. So I can go in and, and, and um, create scaling rules. So again, think of this as, um, You've got your own Kubernetes environments. You've got Kubernetes as a service. But the unique thing is here, you're defining that service. It's kind of like a service built for you, but managed by Cloud Sigma. So we can add some scaling rules. So now we can go in and say, you know, which element are we caring about for scaling? Let's start with workers because they're the ones that are most likely are going to need to scale. Um, and I can say, OK, let's do it based on memory. So, OK, add a node when memory goes above, let's say, 90 percent usage and remove a node when it goes below, let's say, 30 percent. And I can add that rule. And now it's going to scale that environment up and down based on that rule. Um, I can also go in and make other rules based on networking, you know, disk uh, disk usage, et cetera. And of course, you have the different elements that you can also scale uh, scale independently. So this in principle has how it works. You're able to create the environment. And then once you've got the environment, you actually have quite a lot of control in terms of how that's all managed. Um, and then finally, I wanted to go through the billing because the billing approach is actually very unique. Um, and it's uh, very uh, fair to the customer compared to other platforms. We always have had a utility style approach to billing. That means that we we have we try and reduce the number of billing elements that you uh, you are billed against, and we try and make the billing as predictable and transparent as possible. Because again, we feel that one of the the big kind of letdowns or, or, or criticisms of cloud is often that the bills are difficult to predict. It can be overly complicated. And so that makes it hard for customers to understand exactly what the bill is going to be at the end of the month. That's not the case at Cloud Sigma. It's actually quite the opposite.